If you ever want to hear me masturbate, all you have to do is call me and tell me you can't make it to our dinner plans. I'll start stroking right then and there. I am not social. I fucking love that call. That is my favorite call. I, I, especially if it's as I'm leaving the house, I'm going to have multiple orgasms, okay? <laughs> when I'm walking out of the house and I'm like, I don't want to fucking go out with them. And then they call and they're like, we can't make it. I'm like, keep up. <laughs> why, 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 why? <laughs> well, we were in a car accident. I'm like, oh. <laughs> are you okay? You are, but you're still not coming in. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. okay. All right, clean it up, Tom. You got it. So, so I'm a dad, and uh, I am. I've changed some, not too much. You have to change a little bit. You know, there's an expression having kids changes you. I think personally, I think it should be modified to having kids should change you. It's a big time red flag when you meet somebody who's like, yeah, I've had four kids. I haven't changed at all. And you're like, oh, you're super unstable. That's good to know. They don't have to be huge changes, but you know, you, you, you kind of evaluate your life and you make a change. Me, personally, I'm very proud of what I changed. I, I realized when I had kids, I had no time, no energy. I need to edit something out of my life. You know what I edited out of my life? Arguing with everyone. Every friend, every family member, I just don't engage. As soon as it starts, I flip it on them. Okay, so as soon as I'm arguing with somebody and they're like, yeah, I don't really agree with you, I go, yep, I'm on your side now. <laughs> And they're like, what? I go, I, as soon as you spoke, I came around and joined you. That's how little I want to talk to you. And I'm free. Feels great. Now, not everybody likes it. I'll tell you, my own mother is not a fan. <laughs> she lives for arguing. There are some people built like that. She lives for, com you know, combative things. She wants to just fucking stab, twist, turn. She loves it. She's also a dream crusher, which is my least favorite quality in a human being. You know a dream crusher, the person who, no matter what you say, you wanna do or try, they're like, mm-mm, not you. And you're like, it's good to have you around, you know? <laughs> They'll stay with you, right? Like, I bet you me just bringing it up brings them to your own memory. That's how powerful they are. I remember, I do remember telling her, I was like, I'm going to LA to do stand-up. This is years ago, I say it to her, I'm going to LA to do stand-up. Her response was, you should go to the post office. <laughs> I was so naive, I was like, they do stand-up shows at the post office? And she goes, no, to work. I was like, oh, no, 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 stand-up would be the work. And she goes, I understand. I was like, wait a minute, am I telling you my dream and then you're saying, go be a mailman? And she was like, yes. Okay, now I do all right, you know, I make a good living. She knows about it, obviously. She hits me up for shit constantly. But I still get to have some fun. Like, you know what I sent my mother just a few weeks ago for her 75th birthday? A book of fucking stamps. And I put a little note in there. I got these at work today. Ha 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 ha. Don't feel badly. She gets hooked up. So, yeah, she's such a dick. But. <laughs> she is. I don't like that dream crushing shit. I really don't. I, I'm the opposite. I'm a dream encourager. If you come to me with a crazy idea, then I'll really celebrate, okay? I, I love people who have just outrageous dreams. And I've put that out there now. Now people walk up to me all the time. They're like, I want to open a hot dog stand where you could buy boots. And I'm like, all right, let's figure it out. Uh, <laughs> I like it. And I'll tell you this. I want you to have crazy dreams. I'm serious. I really do. I'll give you the best advice. Sincerely, not a joke that I ever got about pursuing a dream. And I hope it applies to all of you, okay? Here's the truth. I think this is true. As long as you accept that your dream might not go exactly as you plan, you will still feel fulfilled by the pursuit of your dream. So always go after whatever you want to do. Otherwise, what's the point in living, right? Yeah. Now, to further that point, I'll tell you this. I remember two years ago, I'm sitting at a cafe in Los Angeles for lunch. I sit down. As I sit down, my friend, I can hear her audibly say, I can't believe I'm thinking that. And I go, thinking what? And she goes, oh, nothing. And I go, what is it? She goes, it's embarrassing. And I go, well, just tell me. She goes, if I tell you, you'll make fun of me. And I go, I always make fun of you. Just say it. 
And she goes, no, it's just something, you know, I want to keep inside. I go, but you said you want to do it, so just say it, and then you can make it happen. She goes, I don't want to. I go, listen, if you don't put it out in the universe, it'll never happen. You've got to say it. What is it? And she goes, okay, I want to blow somebody in the Wu-Tang Clan. <laughs> Now, I immediately think, what would my mom say, you know? And I tell myself, don't be like mom. This is this girl's dream. <laughs> so I look her dead in her eyes, and I go, you should try. <laughs> There's a bunch of them, that's what I said. Now, three months later, she got on their tour bus. And she told them, and guess what? They all accepted. <laughs> if you are not familiar, there are nine guys in the Wu-Tang Clan. Nine. <laughs> so many guys. That's so many. Can we park for a moment at how many dicks nine is? I don't even understand how anyone's sitting in their seat right now. There's people out here like, hmm, what else you got? Are you shitting me? <laughs> That's not a lot. Close your eyes and picture nine dicks. You're like, oh my God, they're everywhere. Yeah, because there's nine of them. That's why. <laughs> I'm not slut shaming. I'm saying objectively, nine is a lot of anything. <laughs> like if I was like, I had cinnamon rolls today. And you're like, how many did you have? I had nine. You mean take you to the emergency room or? You're gonna lose a foot by the morning, we should go. Nine dicks? Are you fucking shitting me? Some of you, it took you 15 years to get to nine dicks. This was a Thursday for this young lady. <laughs> Try to imagine the physical labor involved with blowing nine, probably not small dicks. If you're not aware, the Wu-Tang fellas don't look like me, all right? <laughs>